guys, so today I'm going to be doing a book review of Green Valentine by Lily Wilkinson. I actually won this book in a giveaway on Facebook. I'm super excited I did. I'm pretty sure it's also written by an Australian author. If not, though, it is definitely set in Australia. And I'm pretty sure I made up town because I've never heard of the town Valentine before, but I could be wrong. Anyway, I'm rambling because basically I love books that are set in Australia. Like, it's exciting for me, okay? There's not many books that are set in Australia that I read. But anyway, I'm rambling, as I said. So let's get into what this book is about. This book follows a girl named Astrid who is basically perfect in every single way. She's popular at school, she is the perfect grade A student, she can pretty much get away with anything at her school because she's that popular, well adored by students and teachers alike in her little group of friends. And she's also a huge environmentalist, like she wants to make the world a better place. But then one day Astrid is in the shopping centre dressed as a lobster. She's actually not meant to be a lobster, she's actually meant to be like this river marin thing, I'm not sure what they are, but she's basically trying to protest and help save them but the only costume she could find was a lobster and there she meets shopping car trolley guy and they kind of hit it off and they kind of form this relationship however none of them kind of really recognize each other the next day in school they both kind of find themselves thrown together however only astrid recognizes hero hero does not recognize her and hero is talking to astrid how he hates everything that basically astrid is and so astrid tries to keep her identity a secret for him for a while this is not about their friendship and astrid trying to keep her identity hidden by hero and they're kind of like mixed up match up friendship that there's is. It's a lot of things. It's a very impactful book, for me at least anyway. You see, Astrid wants to change the world and Hero just wants to survive it. Like, he's not really interested in making the world a better place. He doesn't really believe that the world can be a better place. But that doesn't mean that he's necessarily given up on the world and he still wants to try and do something little. And together they decided to turn their town beautiful. And they kind of make like a town garden and everything and I'm not explaining this book well. I'm really not. Alright, how about we try this then? It's filled with meaning about a small town and a small town's future, environmentalist issues. It also is impactful of the message of maybe starting your own garden. If I hadn't had my own veggie garden out the back, because I do because I have rabbits, but if I hadn't had that veggie garden I totally would have been inspired to go out and just start a garden because this book just made me want to do that. It made me want a garden. <laughs> I'm not a gardener. It just made me want to make a small change. It kind of shows you also that you can't really change people. People are who they are and you kind of just have to accept that. And even if two people are totally different, they can still come together and be friends and make something beautiful. You know those books that just kind of left such a meaning on you that you can't really articulate well what the book is about or how much it kind of left such an impact on you? This is one of those books for me. It was funny, it was romantic, it was impactful and it was kind of everything I didn't know I wanted to read at the time but I totally did and I also kind of needed it too. My garden was dying last week because my partner and I both forgot to water it and it was a book to remind me how important gardens can be. It's just a garden but it's, it's not just a garden though. Basically, Basically, if you want to be your own superhero or you're interested in reading about not some conventional superheroes, but superheroes just the same, the adventures of Lobster Girl and Shopping Trolley Guy, and them trying to make a small difference in a very small and shady town. If you want humour, if you want romance, if you want an impactful story, then I would really recommend Green Valentine. Its characters and its message are definitely ones that are going to stay with me for a while. And also, as I said, it's set in Australia, so you have that. Please let me know in the comments below if you read this book and what you thought of it. Hopefully you can articulate better than what I can of what you thought of it because this whole review was just a mess. I'm sorry about that. You know normally I'm not like this. At least I hope my reviews are generally better than this but I still want to post this because even though I don't think that I express myself very well I still think that if you kind of at least a quarter understood this review then you know that I really enjoyed this book and that I recommend it to you if it does from what you gathered from me sound interesting to you. But yeah, as I said, let me know in the comments below if you've read this book and what you thought of it, or if you do plan to pick it up anytime soon. Like this video if you liked it for some reason, because I'm just a rambling mess in this video. And subscribe if you'd like to see more book-related videos from me, and I'll see you next time. Okay, bye!